the first thing I would say is, you better be scared. You better be scared, yes. It is not safe to ask questions about things that people really care about. And it's not safe to ask people to say what they really think about these things that they think about. And that's why I think it's important to, to have a relationship with students and you do your best. Of course, it's easier when you have a smaller class, but even in, in, in large classes, right? You set out, uh, I have, I think, five ground rules. Maybe they'll become six at some point. Ground rules for civil discussion, I think that's what I call it. And um, I, I came up with them in my legal philosophy class. But then at some point, I think after two or three years, I said, hey, this is actually something I should put in all of my syllabi, all my courses. And the first one is don't assume that just because someone says something that they necessarily agree with it. And I think that is really important. If we make the opposite assumption, that we always assume that people only say what they agree with, then no one's going to say things that they disagree with, which I think is really problematic. I think the second one is do your best to try to understand the other person from their view before you attack them, right? before you criticize that view. Because unless you understand where they're coming from, you really don't know what they think. And so if you're saying, well, I disagree with it, well, how do you know that? If you don't really understand where they're coming from, how do you know that? I think I actually say in, in the ground rules, be able to re-articulate the other person's viewpoint in your own words before you think you disagree with them. And so I start out with, with several of these, these ground rules. And you know, there's one about humility, understanding that there are things, no matter what position you take, there are always blind spots, weaknesses, problems with it. And it's important to acknowledge those. And also to exercise, uh, sort of uh, on the flip side of it, humility, it's courage, right? It's to acknowledge that, yes, this is my position. And my position, because it entails problems and weaknesses and difficulties, you know, to be able to say, yes, that is a problem, but I still hold to that position. And either you need to change your position or you need to own up to it, sort of as they say, bite the bullet and say, this is, this is just one of its weaknesses. And I'd rather deal with that weakness than the other sides. Um, so we have to really think about what we believe and follow them to their logical uh, conclusions. Sometimes I would say to their logical extreme, because until you really see where your thinking leads you to, you may not realize what the consequences are. I mean, definitely um, it was some conservative writer, I think Richard Weaver wrote this book, Ideas Have Consequences. Yes, ideas have consequences because people do th act on them. And, and so, you know, what good are ideas unless you act on them? And so when we act on them, um, you know, we see what, what happens and, you know, people do things and people, people can die and people can, you know, I, um, I think students will say, you know, Professor Chen comes across as being really morbid. That's because, you know, um, people die. And, and people die because people do things. There are consequences to what we believe. So advice, you know, have ground rules. I actually invite students to disagree with my ground rules. I said, these are my ground rules in this class. Um, so if, if you're in this class, you will obey those ground rules. But I don't assume everyone agrees with them. And in fact, I would encourage you to, to disagree. And I, I say in the syllabus, I said, I will do my best to follow my own ground rules. But if I don't, I would appreciate it if students would respectfully point them out, point out that I'm not following my own ground rules. And I would imagine sometimes I don't, you know. Um, we all have our biases and I have mine. We need other people to point out our flaws and our weaknesses. It's much easier when other people do that to us than we do it to ourselves. Starting out with ground rules and modeling those ground rules, which is very difficult, especially for faculty members. You know, trying to, we all have our biases and we all think we're telling the truth. Building relationship is really important because the, the students need to feel safe with each other on a certain level and they need to feel, feel safe with you. One of the questions I have on my evaluation, an uh, informal evaluation that I give is, uh, and I think it's, on, I think it's also on the, the official teaching evaluation, it asks, you know, does, does the, the instructor um, show respect for differing viewpoints? And I think that's really important.